So I've made a tutorial on the smartphone module which got moderated and now people don't know how to set it up. So I'm gonna tell you how to do so. And I'm gonna show you a manual setup and a GitHub setup, so let's begin. So if you are using a program like Rojo, you would usually just go to the repository and then go to code and then copy the link. And I'm gonna go to Visual Studio Code, make an example folder. So this example would be your project, right? You would just go into the terminal and then just type git clone and the repository and you would have smartbone right here in the source, right? You would have the init, which is basically the module, and then you would have all the dependencies and components right here. And sadly, it doesn't have any packages, so you just can't install it from the from the package managers. But now for the manual installation, as someone already said on the forum, you have to basically just set it up like this, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So there is two things we are going to need. One is gonna be the module script, which is the smartbone, and then a local script, which is the smartbone runtime. And if you go right here, the the runtime basically just has to have this, like so. And now the module itself, we have to basically just go into the source and just copy the scripts one by one. So we would open this one, this is the main one, then just click right here, copy raw file, go back to studio and then just paste it in. And that's smartbone, right? Now we need two folders. One is the dependencies. If you go to the script and search for the dependencies, these are going to be all the components that it requires, even right here. And there is also the components. So I need to add another folder and just name this one components. And just like so in this tree, we just have to copy them. Instead of the JSON files, we basically just need to copy all the Lua files like one by one. So let's start with the components. There is the particle. So we add a module, name this one particle, copy the row and then just paste it in. Then another one which is the particle tree, copy, rename this one and paste it in. So that's the particle tree and particle right here. So now let's go to the dependencies, add a module, name this one unit conversion go into these dependencies, the unit conversion, and then just copy raw, and then just paste it in here. Next one is the default settings. So again, go into here, copy, and paste. Then there is settings math. So again, module, rename, go into here, get the settings math, and paste it in. The next one is the utilities. So you just repeat the process, go to the utilities, copy and then paste. There is also the config that I've missed. So again a module, name this one config, go to the config, copy, paste. And there is also this one more thing, which is right here at the bottom. This is the actor script. And since it's not a required, it's a local script, it's this one right here, actorscript.client.lua. So the name in studio is before the dot right here, so it's just actorscript. So we name this one actorscript, then go back, copy and then paste. And to test everything out, I have this model of a duck right here that I used in my previous videos, which has the root bone and all the other bones, and it has the attribute and also the tag right here. Even if you set it up incorrectly, the smartbone script is gonna tell you that it didn't find a child or that it's missing something. So you can only just go back and look at the output and just figure out stuff from there. So I'm gonna just play test it right now just to check if everything is working. And I didn't get an error. And if you grab the duck, oh, never mind, I did. I forgot about the camera util and it's waiting for the camera util in the dependencies folder. So we need to add another module because this one is required by the actor script. Yeah, it's right here. Rename this module to camera util. Go into here. Get this one and then just copy it. And paste it in. And now it should be working. Yeah, no message in the output and if you grab the DAG it should be wobbly. Yep, like so. And this means that everything is just set up correctly. 
So yeah, I saw that a lot of people do struggle with it, even on the dev forum post and in my comments on all of my videos. So I thought it would be nice to make this tutorial for you guys and yeah. It would also mean a lot if you left a like under this video and subscribed because it would really support my channel and yeah. That's everything for today and see ya guys.